Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, Gianna Lauren Beauty. Today I am going to do a catfish transformation into this look. So if you have not been to my channel yet, please hit the subscribe, subscribe button and don't forget to like this video. Okay, so I'm going to remove my glasses, put on my contacts. And this already here, I think, makes a huge difference. Okay, for this look, I'm going to start with all my skincare stuff. Um, in my last video, I do go through all of my favorite go-to products. So I'm not going to show this part on video, but I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to start with my skincare because you can't change or transform without your skin looking good. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll be back. Okay, so I want my skin to be a lot dewier and darker, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix my CoverGirl Vitalist Glow and my Anastasia um, Luminous Foundation together. And this will give me the full coverage that I need while also making me not look so mattified, leaving me with a nice dewy finish. Next, to create this eye look that I'm about to do, I'm going to use my Benefit Boing Concealer. And I'm just going to apply this on my eyelids so that it's easier to apply all my eyeshadows. Okay, so the two palettes that I'm going to be using today are by Makeup Obsession. I have the, um, the Dark in the Daydream palettes. So I want to start by first applying a neutral color that I can place colors over. So I'm actually going to use a color called Snow White from the palette. And I'm just going to dust this all over the eye. The next color that I'm going to use is called Lily. And I want to do this as my transition color. So I'm just going to pop this right up here. And drag it out. The next color is called Dream Chaser. And for this, I'm going to use an applicating brush that's a little bit smaller. And we're going to place it in the crease area. And you just want to blend everything together so lightly go in circular motions next color is from the other palette which is the darker palette and we are going to use the color called rose matter and it's just a deeper matte purple so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an applicating brush once again and we're going to go right into the main crease. I didn't mean to put it there. And into this outer corner. And just really emphasize this color. And now we're going to take a blending brush and just blend it outward. Okay, so I really want to add a little more of like that purple hue to it because it's this is more of like a pinkish purple and I really want a little more purple. So I'm going to be using the Ultimate NYX palette and I'm going to be using some of these colors right here just to add. Give it a little more 
of that purpley tone that I'm looking for. Next, I'm going to take that color and I'm going to go right underneath a concealer brush, just like this, and my boing, and I'm going to create a cut crease. So I'm just going to drop it, look up, and wherever it lands, that's where you want to place the rest of it. We're going to bring it all the way out into this almond shape, just like that. And we're going to fill the rest in. Next, I'm going to use the color called Rain Dance. And I just want to show you guys this color because it's just so absolutely beautiful right here and I'm going to take the same brush and I'm going to apply it right where we put all the concealer. And we're just going to place it above the silver. I almost think I'm going to just use my finger because I want it to look a little more purple. And then I want to take that purple from the NYX palette again and I'm just going to blend ever so slightly the edge right here. Okay, you guys just have to trust the process. So the next thing that I did to create even more of like a purple hue is I went into my Morphe Brushes Palette um, 35C and I just brushed even over the shimmer and the matte colors with this color right here. We are actually going to use the Bad Gal Bang to do the eyeliner. And this is in black, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it right at my lash line. And I'm going to go all the way down to my inner corner. Liquid lipstick. And I'm actually going to just put a little bit on my hand. I'm going to take my detailer brush and I'm just going to use this as an eyeliner on the inner corners of my eyes. My Roller Eye Bright Pencil by Benefit. So I already applied my foundation, I already put some concealer, but I want to add a little bit more just here and here, and then just a dab in a couple spots. And we're just going to brighten it up. We want it to look as bright as possible underneath the eyes. Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This is what I'm going to use to put underneath my eyes. I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty ma um, Match Stick in Mocha. We're going to go ahead and start blending. I 
Okay, so the next color I'm going to use, um, I'm going to be using the Rosé Blush Color Infusion by Laura Mercier. It looks like this. What I do is I want to base this right on my cheek area. And just like with every, almost every other video, I will be using my cheek leaders. I'm going to use the Hula and the, I mean the Hula and the Hula Caramel. And I'm just going to bronze up my whole face. We're going to start with the Hula Caramel. Focus in this contour area. Just to emphasize. I'm going to take my big fluffy brush and I'm going to use the regular Kahula and I'm just going to dust over my entire face. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose. I am going to do a contour video um, for just the nose and so I'm going to do this off camera and then I'll be back. Okay, so now that I contoured my nose, I'm also just baking my cheeks a little bit and the sides of my nose. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to do my eyebrows. So for this look, specifically to really change up my look and do that catfish, I'm going to make some dramatic eyebrows. They are going to be a lot fuller than my natural ones. I don't usually wear my makeup like this, but I will be doing this for this video. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I'm going to brush up my eyebrow hairs and I'm going to take my Cabral from Benefit and I am going to create my brow and right now I want to create a little bit of a straighter brow so I am not going to completely follow my brow line. Take my Gimme Brow from Benefit in number two brush up all my hairs and they stay up. I'm going to completely overdraw my lips by using my Buxom Hush Hush Lip Liner. This one is one that I always use and I'm obsessed with. Obviously you can see like I'm constantly having to sharpen it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to overdraw Beige in Time. The lashes we're going to use today are the Molly May by um, Tati Lashes.